Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up something called widgets for your website. And I'm actually recording this out of order. If you're watching this in the playlist, you're gonna see it in order, but I'm kind of recording it out of order. So if you look on my website right here, here's one of my courses, and you can see I've got these this sidebar area, and these are actually called widgets. And here's one that will show the course progress. Here's one that's gonna show the outline of how I've organized my videos in the course. And also when you scroll to the bottom of my website, you can see right here, these are widget areas right here. And this is all with the styling of my website. So the website we've been working on together, here's what a lesson's going to look like. And you can see we have this sidebar area and this is now probably not what we want at all. And then when we scroll all the way to the bottom, here's this footer area and you can see it has all this default information and that's really not what we're gonna want either. So let's go in and figure figure out how to put the info you want to show there to show there. So I'm in the back end of the website and we need to go to the widget area. So it's under appearance and then the third option here says widgets. And so here we are. Now right here on the right is your widget areas and right here on the left is the widgets that you can place in these widget areas. So here is the sidebar for courses. Here is a sidebar for lessons and I can just click on that right there and I can drag and drop some widgets in there and we're, we're going to do that together. And these we're not really using a right sidebar, a left sidebar, a header widget area. And here is those widget areas for the footer. And you can see when I expand it, we don't have anything in there. Even though it shows that there's something in there, there really isn't anything in there in these four widget areas. Uh, that's just to show you what it would look like if you put some things in there and we have some other areas right here so what I want to do is I want to get rid of that default information for the footer so I'm just gonna put this text widget in there like this and I'm not gonna put any info in there you can do whatever you want though with that footer area uh, I just prefer to put nothing in there right now so I'm gonna put a, a blank one in there I'm gonna put a blank one right here and let's see, and let's see, I'm gonna put it in the fourth one as well. So let's see, one, two, three, four, hopefully I got them all. So you don't have to click save. When you drag and drop it there, it gets immediately saved. So I'm gonna go here and do a refresh and we're gonna see, so I'm gonna scroll down. Things are already starting to look different, but I might've done it wrong. Up, oh, we got that one left there. I might've screwed something up. Let's see, footer area four. No, I think I got it all right here. Um, maybe I need to put another blank one in the footer area five right there. And let's do that. So I'm sure that's good. We're gonna refresh it in a moment, but let's set up our course sidebar. So we don't have anything specified yet right here. So let's put some widgets in there. So I'm gonna start with the course progress. I mean, you could put whatever you want, however you want it there. I'll go ahead and start with the course progress right here. So I'm gonna give it a title right here, and I'm probably just gonna give it the same title and then go ahead and click on save. And then I'm gonna go ahead and also put this course syllabus right there. And I'll just call this, I guess, uh, lessons in this course, like that, lessons in this course. And you can choose whether you wanna make them collapsible or not. I don't have this enabled, but if you have a super, super long course, you might wanna give them the option to collapse the different sections so they can only see the lessons in particular sections so it doesn't take a mile long of the area there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. And now we have that there for the course sidebar. But what's nice is we also have a separate sidebar for lessons. And so I usually have the same thing in both, to be honest. Uh, so I'm gonna just go ahead and do the same thing that I just did above, but I'm gonna do it right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and name it the same like that. Click on save. And then for here, I'm just gonna do a copy and I'm gonna paste that in right there and then do a save. So I've gone ahead and set up these sidebars for the course and for the lesson. And there's other sidebars on other areas of your website. So for if you had a blog post with the right sidebar, this is what would show there. And uh, what's really nice about this is you can have specific information in the exact places that you want them.
So on the courses sidebar, you can maybe if you wanted to have some information on you, the instructor to qualify yourself or whatever, or if you wanted to put some info there about uh, information about the course, how long it would take to take the course or things like that, you can do that in the course sidebar. Uh, and you have all these widget areas here available to you. You can just drag and drop them in there. The text widget is good. You can put any kind of text that you want in there or images. And uh, that's pretty much all you have to do. So I think we have everything saved. So let's go take a look and see how it looks on the front end of the website. So here I am. I'm on the course index page. I'm going to go ahead and click on my course right here. You can see now we have course progress and we have the lessons in the course. Later on, I'm going to tell you some strategies to not get these long lesson titles to have them take multiple lines. And you can see I have all the lessons there. There. Now let's jump into a free lesson and see if we have that same information. So here's a free lesson and we have our course progress and we have our lessons in the course just like that. You could make this named whatever you want obviously. I just chose randomly lessons in this course. And your students can actually just click directly into these lessons. And the reason some you can't click into is because the free ones you can click into, but the ones that require enrollment, you can't. So that is how to set up these widget areas. It's a typical WordPress thing, by the way. It's not a Lyft or LMS specific thing. But of course, Lyft or LMS gives you these specific areas here. Now, I do want to add one last bit of information. If you are using Lyft or LMS with a WordPress theme other than the ones that I'm setting you up with in this video series, that's okay. But there is going to be this warning notice about your sidebars. And so I've got this article pulled up here. Let me pull it up. Here it is. And you can go to Lifter LMS's knowledge base and you'll get information here on how to get the integration with their specific sidebar areas with the theme that you're using. And so you essentially have to put this snippet of code in and you have to find a little thing in your theme. But I've already had gone ahead and done all that for you. So you don't have to worry about it, but you basically just copy and paste these in. So if you're using a different theme, like maybe the Beaver Builder theme or the Divi theme or something like that, you'll want to come here and figure out how to get that sidebar integration. But I've already gone ahead and done all that heavy lifting for you if you use that child theme that I have already provided.